What was the top story of the year? You are mere seconds away from finding out. But first, let's recap the rest of our list so far. Story number 10 was the ongoing debate surrounding abortion legislation. That was followed by the health insurance crisis at number 9. James Cameron's trek seven miles down was number 8. Lucky number seven was the very unlucky closure of Orta Chalampago Elementary School. Decision 2012 came in at number six. The bottom five was rounded out by the ongoing saga of the military buildup. The port scandal was story number four. Our third and second stories were the uprise in the crime beat this year and the flailing state of GovGuam's finances, respectively. So now that brings us to the top story of 2012. How a tiny little building in Upper Tumon caused major legal troubles for its owner and major embarrassment for the Guam police. Your top story of the year, the case of the Blue House Lounge. It was in September, the mastermind behind the prostitution ring at the Blue House Lounge, Song Ja Cha, was sentenced to life in prison. But the case was far from over as there remained unfinished business with the Guam Police Department. Defense Attorney John Gorman. Some police officers had sex and served as enforcers um, with these girls, so therefore they also were preying on these young, vulnerable um, Micronesian women. And nobody's been punished in there. And that leaves a lot of questions hanging as to how this could possibly happen, that they could Expl sexually exploit these young women and, and get away with it. One of these officers, David Q. Manila, even testified during the trial, confessing he was a customer. As well, during the federal trial last year, two officers were identified as Mario and Tony, but nothing ever happened. That is, until Adeloup stepped in under intense media pressure and public scrutiny of the police force. I want them to work, uh, to, to look this over, just to do a revisit of the investigation, make sure that uh, all the T's are crossed, the I's are dotted, and that if there was any leads that were not pursued, why? And um, if, they, if there's a legitimate reason for it, then the officer's investigation, uh, whether it be internal affairs or the criminal investigation. After a joint investigation was launched by GPD and the Attorney General's office, and now more than a year after Cha was convicted in federal court, Three police officers were indicted, facing trial, this time with Cha and her former employee, Freda Yusun, in local court. Officers David Manila, Anthony Kanga, and Mario Laksamana stand accused of violating the very laws they swore to uphold. This indictment shows and demonstrates that police officers, even though uh, they're members of the Guam Police Department, they're law enforcement officers, they're not above the law, and they can be held accountable for their actions and then the Guam uh, can be uh, uh, feel comfortable and, and uh, have confidence that justice will take its course. Even if a, bad, a few bad apples or a few individual police officers were involved in the Blue House conspiracy, it was GPD who rescued the victims and broke the case in 2008 and it continues to be GPD and the FBI backing us up in this investigation and prosecution. The rest of this story remains untold as motions hearings continue in the Superior Court of Guam and are scheduled for the new year. And that is our countdown of the top 10 stories of the year. From all of us here at KUAM, be safe, happy new year, and we'll see you in 2013.